Toss it over to our Emily Pike. She has our full forecast. Uh, full forecast leaving full cloud coverage across most of the region. In fact, most of the Midwest all the way to the northeast and the mid Atlantic starting to see the full brunt of that system moving out. Luckily, we are left dry while the mid Atlantic being uh, mostly rainy. So zooming into our region here at home, we're not seeing a drop of precipitation. Sadly, that's bad news as we are still kind of dry from what we really should be around this time of the year. But hey, our temperatures are starting to feel a lot more like it. What we typically see by the 1st of January, a live look at Benton. Still there's those clouds, although I did see a few peaks of sun earlier, so that was nice. Just not enough vitamin D to make me feel happy yet. So right now temperatures into those mid 30s, making snow lovers feel a little left out because we're not seeing the snow on the ground and really no changes yet. But we do have a light wind out of the west northwest, five miles per hour. A lot of us seeing at least between five and 10 miles per hour. So we do have a feels like temperature feeling more like those lower 30s. So bundle up out there, especially as we go back into the evening. Don't know if you saw the pressure there. We're steady going into some high pressure and that'll tell you a little bit of a pattern flip that we're starting to see. So all of us seeing those mid 30s, some upper 30s there, even Cumberland there into Western Kentucky seeing those mid upper 30s. Now, as we take a look at our threat tracker, there's really nothing that says this isn't like our pattern that we typically see. So we are tracking mostly cloudy conditions. Eventually they will move out. It'll take a while, but we do look to stay cool and pretty much on average for our temperatures. So enjoy Enjoy some dry time, although just be patient with it. Mother Nature's getting her gifts ready. She was late at packing. So as we go through our future cast, there's those clouds still moving through. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine and maybe even some stars overnight getting you into Tuesday morning. But temperatures dropping a little bit further going into those lower 30s yet again. Feels like temperature probably putting us right into those upper 20s. Futurecast also showing our temperatures by the late afternoon time frame, showing those low 40s still staying with us. And then as we go into Tuesday evening, another cool night ahead. So again, one more time, we are going to be cool tonight. Temperatures back into those low 30s, maybe some upper 20s if we can get some clearing out. Doubt it though. Again, tomorrow, another cool day. Temperatures right at where they should be into those low 40s. Breezy at times though too. Those winds still coming from the west northwest. Now I told you a lot of dry time, so our storm track three app we're always tracking and weather is always changing, so we're always tracking those changes. So one change that we've been seeing is yeah, there's a lot of talk on social media about a system possibly by the late weekend. Well, that's something that we've been keeping an eye on as well. Looks like right now the models are showing one scenario. If a track of the low pressure goes down to the south, we could see a flip or flop in either direction of a scenario. So one shows rain, one shows snow. We're keeping an eye on it, but with those cool temperatures, that would be the only thing in my mind to really keep an eye on. But if you do have any travel going into your next weekend, just keep that in the back of your mind and maybe a shovel or a raincoat, depending on how that plays out. But we're not just ready to say, OK, this is what we're seeing. We're not going to come out of the, the waterworks and say, look, guys, you're going to see a lot of snow. It's just not going to be what you hear from us until we start seeing it all come together. But right now, Brooke, I'm seeing the Thursday, Friday chances of sun. I'll take that over the snow. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't even know where my shovel's at right now <laughs> or my raincoat, so I'll definitely have to uh, do some digging around to find yeah. those. I mean, usually after the holidays, or the house is still kind of a mess right now, so I'm trying <laughs> to get that all cleared up, so hopefully uh, no rain or snow. I mean, there's still a lot in the works, yeah. so yeah. Good luck on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, Emily.